Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. Welcome to episode 3 of my UFC career mode. My heavyweight striker is trying to come up in the ranks. I'm trying to hurry up and get to the UFC. So let's hurry up and get into the video. Let's get it. Alright guys, now that we are back, I'm going to go ahead and schedule my training camp right now. For all the people that want to train in their basement, I have nothing against you. But what I need to let you guys know is if you train in your basement, you get no other perks like these other gyms. If you train inside of a gym, you can learn move sets and get perks from said gym. Um, once you become a prospect, you get an extra level. You get to fight with new fighters. You get to learn new moves. You get to learn new perks. So, again, I say, I know you're not getting to the bag right now. I know that money is real scarce before you get to the UFC, but you need to be training in a gym. Now, as far as I am concerned, I am a striker. I like to focus on boxing, which means it's only right for me to join an actual boxing gym. So, I just decided why not go ahead and pull that trigger and join the best gym for me at the moment, and that gym is definitely going to have to be the what is that car aside or what i don't know but it's three racks just to join a gym and it's 600 for weekly training which means i'm about to spend 1800 dollars just to train at this gym i'm broke as you know what i'm saying but hey it all feels good right now because i know that in a couple weeks i'm going to be the man you feel me so let's go ahead and get into the training camp now let's talk about the camp for a moment you can train you can learn moves and perks you can promote your fight whether it's via social media via your fans or anything like that and you can also spar to get your actual training and fitness level up to get the keys to the victory on what you need to do in order to actually win the fight now let's go over training training has a bunch of different things that can help you as far as striking grappling stamina health and your overall fitness level now as far as learning moves that's all about learning perks it's all about learning different hooks and uppercuts and spinning back fists and flying knees and all those different moves that come from different gyms now when it comes to promoting promoting is easy all you do is basically throw up a, a little tweet over social media or as you get better in your ufc career and get more popular you can play video games with fans and stuff like that now all of this stuff is animated just to let you guys know and sparring is definitely key guys but i want to tell you guys something real quick you can definitely go wrong by overworking yourself when it comes to training now i showed this in this example in this video of over training myself being exhausted during the training session and just letting you guys know that you can do that you can under train yourself and you can also over train yourself now what comes with over training is definitely you being exhausted so make sure you guys definitely get a good management on your weeks that you use for training promoting learning moves and sparring now i'm 116 percent trained i'm exhausted i don't know what's going to happen in this fight but let's dive into it all right so we're back at the wfa guys now you already know how this goes no commentary so i am the commentary which means i'm here to knock this guy out it looks like he's jamaican man he's 6'4 with a 73 reach my reach is 81 i'm gonna body this fool right here man who wants to see this guy go night night in the first round man so uh let's go ahead and get it popping uh-huh you ready fight yeah so uh just to start this fight off i noticed that he's already the aggressor so i just gotta make sure you know i give him a little taunt make sure i piss him off a little bit now I give him a nice little one two right there and i'm just landing nice shots and oh did this dude just try a flying knee you can't try these flying knees with me man I throw too many quick shots, and oh man, that kick to the leg. I don't know why it did what it did to him, but hey, I'll take that now. He's up on the cage. He's already feeling it, giving me a nice little uppercut right there, but he's feeling the pressure, man, and he threw, the, threw a little faint. I don't know why he threw a faint, but 
this guy is all discombobulated you can already tell that he wants to throw real heavy shots if you guys seen right there he tried to hit me with a nice kick nice knee to the body but you can tell that he only wants to throw heavy shots he hasn't tried to take me down just yet and i'm just head hunting right now man i noticed that my power really isn't there yet but oh did you guys see the knockdown that's one knockdown right now now i'm trying to go for the knockdown trying to use them uppercuts and oh my god another one Somebody call DJ Cali because this dude need the mixtape. Oh, my goodness. Look at the... Oh, my Jesus Christ. That's three knockdowns. Somebody come and get this man. Somebody come get him a squeegee because we need to clean up all this blood that's about to be on this mat, brother. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Hell's a vent in it down. Somebody call a doctor. Somebody please get some epinephrine. Somebody please get him a shot of something. <laughs> nah, man. But, hey, guys. I just want to let y'all know. If you haven't added uppercuts to your arsenal, if you got UFC 3, definitely add uppercuts, man. Oh, my God. The blood splatter. The blood splatter is real. But that's another win under my belt, man. Another knockout this time in the first round. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Um, I know it was it was pretty short fight. I know I kind of extended the video a little bit, showing you guys a little bit of background of the training camp. But three knockdowns, 60 total strikes out of 75 thrown. My man only threw 18 punches. Look at his head health, bro. Dead. <laughs> that boy died on arrival. You understand me now? You guys know how much I paid to get into the gym. I paid 3000 to get into the gym. I paid 1800 to train in that gym. And I only made $1,600. I'm already in a loss, man. I'm holding that L. Everybody spam up L in the chat for spending all his money to train to get a first round knockout to a dude that ain't throw no punches. I probably hold that goddamn L, brother. Listen, man. <laughs> hey, what can I do, man? Hopefully, you know, in my next training camp, I might not train for as many weeks. I need to save some money. I need to be conservative, if you feel what I mean. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.